Are you one of those people that, I don't know, you want to raise or you want a new job or you think you're worth more? You're not charging enough. You're not making enough. You're not saving enough. You're not keeping enough money. Yeah, today's all about money. And not just money, your money ceiling. What does that mean? Well, here's you and here's the ceiling and here's more money and you're not there. This is the money ceiling. What's yours? Is it stopping and blocking you from making and attracting money or earning or saving or having it? Or what's your money story and how does it relate to this guy right here, the vibrational bubble? Stay tuned. Today we're going to teach you how your money ceiling is causing you to attract what you're attracting and what you can do about it. Good morning, everybody, and welcome. My name is Michael Loge. I'm a certified emotion code practitioner. I'm here every Saturday on the Bro Show, and I'm with you. John, good morning. Good morning. Yes, my name is John Inverarity, Certified Emotion Code and Body Code Practitioner. And uh, yeah, bringing this uh, awesome topic to you guys today. It's usually a popular one when we uh, um, talk about money, uh, money ceiling. And um, yeah, so thanks for joining us, everyone. Um, yeah, and stay tuned. This is going to be really exciting. Yeah. You know, the, the word ceiling is it, usually used to represent, you know, you know, like in the workplace, they talk about the glass ceiling or the ceiling. So if the word ceiling is new to you, think of boundaries. What are your, what are your vibrational about boundaries about money? And by boundaries, I mean by limits. Oh, I could never make $10 an hour. I could never make this or I could never have that or I could never get like that's your that is your vibrational boundary. And it's not a good one because it's holding you into that money, um, that money vibe that you're sending. So today we're going to talk about that and uh, we're going to look for a couple of people that know they've got a money block. You know, the thought of asking for a raise or making more money or earning more money. Tell us what, how this topic relates to you today and you might get uh, an emotion code session live with John and I today. So, uh, so good morning to you, John. Yeah, good morning. Yeah. yeah, a couple of people already uh, commenting here, joining oh, us live. With us today. Hey, Natasha says here says hello. Okay, Karen's with us. Good morning, Karen. Uh, Miriam's in the car. She's going to listen later. That's the other nice thing. We're on replay forever on my Facebook page and blog entries and on YouTube. So, uh, particularly if you're a practitioner, um, it might. Uh, it might be a good idea to kind of peek in to see what direction we would take with someone when they're talking about having money problems or money blocks. So we're going to cover that today. Uh, yeah, we are. If you're watching live, say hello. Okay. We have Tony St. John from uh, on YouTube saying good morning. Hey, Tony, and good morning. From, uh, Sandra from Rodriguez. Sandra from Rodriguez. Sandra from um, Calgary. Calgary. And look at this. We've got a, we've got a first timer. Aaron Hansen, hi, first time tuning in, can't wait. Hey, well good, you know, if you're just joined us, you're just new to us, John and I are here every Saturday. I mean, look at this, today we are on episode number, I'm just gonna pull it up here, 192, can you imagine? So if you liked us today, you're gonna love us after going back and watching a marathon this weekend because you might not have anything else to do and watch 192 episodes. And uh, we often choose different subjects. Today, last week we did, uh, for the business person, their client ceiling, you know? They want 10 clients, they can only have five or six, or only getting five or six, or they might get nine and lose two. In other words, that's the ceiling. If you're a business person, go back and watch last week on how John managed. John and I managed to increase somebody's client. It's almost like your believability that you could have that many more clients today. We want to work with a couple of people to help them increase their vibrational boundary around how much money they can have and earn and find and gift and the job. Dave, yeah. Might be. Yeah. A lot of people that they find is that, you know, they might get a little bit more money than like they'll have like a sudden expense, like a bill, hot water tank goes or car paint or car troubles or something like that. This yeah. is a good, like real life example of that, that ceiling. You just, you know, can't, have that extra money that you want. So yeah, we're here today to help you with your financial goals. Yeah, yeah. check in with us. Now, I've got an exciting event coming up. It's a five part uh, Zoom series on my book Law of Attraction right behind me. It's gonna run for five Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern or five Saturdays coming up starting on the 13th. It's an hour long and then at the end of, they don't know it yet, the people that signed up, 
But at the end of each training, because I'm going to walk through the steps of my workbook, of my Law of Attraction book with the workbook, you'll be given assignments every week. And at the end of the five weeks, and I'm not even joking you, you are going to fully understand how to use Law of Attraction deliberately with my help. Not only that, at the end of each of these classes, I'm going to be doing emotional code sessions and, uh, with some of the members and demonstrating them. So stay tuned. I am, the link is going to go on the right-hand side. I'm just showing you that quick little, um, it looks too small, but when I do that, it puts the link on the right-hand side. Uh, check it out. i got two classes coming up. would love to have you join us. That starts uh, April 13th on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Pacific. April 17th, Saturdays, uh, same day as the Broad Show at noon, and uh, it goes for five. Well, not only will you get the Law of Attraction Book Club, I've already done a Your Life Purpose Book Club on my other book, walking you through all the processes with worksheets uh, so you can learn how to uncover your life purpose and help other people uncover theirs through the processes. It's $159. It comes with the five classes, the workbook, and the replay, so you'll be able to get it in my online school. It's a lot. It's Great. a lot. I know it's a lot yeah. to cover. So, anybody has any questions about that, let me know. We got a couple more friends saying hello, John. So, we're going to say hello to our friend JT. Jennifer Towner, good morning. Yes. And uh, Yeti uh, Dominique Giaz. Finally catching you guys live. Oh, good. You guys did good. Hey, well, we're live on YouTube and Facebook every Saturday. And um, every. Friday, John, we send out an email letting people know about um, um, what the topic is. And also inside that, um, oh, here it is. Yeah, and inside that email, we tell you what other courses we have going on. I might have some free practitioner courses. It's michaelloge.com forward slash emotion code bros. And that'll get you on the email list. We always send you two emails one Friday at 9 a.m. to say what the show is, and one an hour before so you can jump out of bed if you're still in bed or get your coffee and get ready to join us live or, of course, the replay at any time. Okay, John, uh, let's talk about uh, a couple things that we're going to help people do today. So we're talking about the, this, this money ceiling, and we might have some beliefs about that money ceiling. Can you kind of expand on what that means? What's, what's a belief, and how does it relate to an emotion? Right. Yeah. So if you have this belief that you've, I mean, it's been with you your whole life, you've, or your whole career anyways, your adult life, you probably got it from your parents and they got it from their parents. Right. But it's your belief that, you know, this is how much money you're going to have in your life. And it's just like anything beyond that mm -hmm. it's possible. Yeah. So whether, you know, you're not worthy, you don't, you know, subconsciously not worthy, you know, you don't believe it, you don't deserve it. It's not safe. You hold it, you experienced it, all of those, you know. Whatever it may be there. Yeah, so a lot of different variations there. But essentially, you know, you're sort of at that, you know, that ceiling. Uh, some people say it's like a set point too, and you just can't go beyond that. Yeah. That's right. You know, some of the beliefs that, you know, we hear people say, and we have them as well, sometimes the belief pops itself up after the word because. It's like, oh, you know what, I'd love to make this amount of money, but you're – well, I couldn't, you know, because nobody in my family ever makes good money. Just that little bit, because, because nobody in my family makes good money. So that yeah. became a belief. And that belief is made up of, say it when you say it, that belief is made up of unprocessed. Yeah, trapped emotions. Yeah. So trapped emotion, unprocessed emotion from a past negative event, something you felt experienced. Mm -hmm. And that, it, it forms a little ball of energy and it gets lodged in, in your body. And it affects you, your mentally forms those beliefs and physically as well, which we've covered in a lot of the different aches and pains episodes. Right. But right now it's mentally your beliefs. You know, maybe as a young age, you're told, you know, you're not gonna, you know, get a, that, that career that you want. You know, mom or dad told you that, you know, you'll never make any money as this, or you, you're not, yeah. like, all the story and it gets locked in and then it becomes our path, right? Yeah. But today, we're gonna be able to do it for you. We're gonna become your proxy. And John, that means we're gonna be able to connect with that person and do it for them. And do it means what? It means finding the emotion on the emotion card and the best of all, John, then when we find the emotion, then what? We delete it. We get rid of it, clear it, yeah, release it with a magnet. So we have a magnet, swipe it over, in our, over our governing meridian. A couple of swipes like this, you'll be seeing us do this a few times. Right. And the whole process, uh, you know, surfaces it and releases it. 
and then you're able to move on without it. And listen, you don't have to believe it or understand it. It's not your job. If you were the proxy and didn't, if you weren't, if you didn't have us, you probably wouldn't be able to do it. That's why you get us. It's like when you yeah. go your car fix, you don't know how to do it. You get someone else to do it for you. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do it for you. We're going to scan your subconscious mind with our fingers using what? Muscle testing. That's right. And then we're going to find the answers. Our fingers will lock in our our own way. It'll say, oh, we're going to say, is it this and this and this? Oh, boom, it's right here. We're not even guessing. Your subconscious mind's so brilliant, it knows the emotion, but it needs an emotion hunter. Oh, that's a brand new word, John. Hashtag, we're emotion hunters. And we're going to become your proxy. We're going to hunt for one or all emotions that are causing you to hold the belief or whatever it might be, whatever you tell us in the chat. And we're going to delete it for you. Hey, now last week we worked with a couple people, John, about what their ceiling was about how many clients they think they can attract. It'd be a good time if they popped in today and gave us an update. We will be looking for them. A couple more people, John, and then if you want to scan to see if the, we have a volunteer. Yeah, G is here. Says good morning, bros from Virginia. Okay. Our UK friend, Sylvia Bellini. Sylvia Bellini's here. Greetings from London. Rather gray and chilly today, but we sat outside drinking tea and eating hot cross buns. You're like Canadians. It doesn't have to be hot and sunny, but if it's if it's bright out, we'll do it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Yeti, so here's a, a good example. I feel like money is going to run out, so I save it as long as I can. I know I got this belief from my mom. Okay, not a bad behavior, but uh, we're, we're, we're just going through all the chats right now. Uh, Karen has joined us. She said, I feel like I don't deserve to have more money, so uh, many have less than I. So I don't believe I can have more money when somebody has less than I. Okay, that's definitely a ceiling, right? I can't have more money because a lot of people on the planet don't have that. So that's something for us to cons uh, consider. Natasha was pretty quick with the hashtag emotion, emotion hunters. Yeah. That's what we are doing today. I'm still going through. Uh, I don't think we've worked with Yeti before, so I'm going to call her up on the screen. So we might need some more information yet. I feel like money is going to run out. So I save it as long as I can. I know I got this belief from my mom. So uh, it's kind of like a scarcity mindset, right? It could be. It could be. But we could find out. I'm just think, figuring how to word that. So what I'm going to do is that I'll start with Yeti and John. Uh, while people are chatting, you can um, uh, you can find someone to work with. So again, welcome everybody. Uh, I'm going to be giving Yeti an emotion code prep session. Just so you know, I'm on uh, Vancouver Island on the west coast of Canada, pretty far away. I know I'm pretty far away because nobody lives near me, so everyone's far away. The point is that John and I, living on the west coast of Canada, can work with anybody because th this is why it's called distance healing is because we're going to become your proxy. Anywhere in the world. Anywhere yeah. in the world, yeah. And they don't even need to be present. Like, she doesn't even need to be on the screen. But I'm going to be using muscle testing, right? This is a yes answer, that's a no. So here, first, am I hydrated enough? Yep, do I need more water? No, nope. am I hydrated enough? Yes, so I'm just connecting. It's like my Wi-Fi scanning for Yeti. These are all no's. I'm just scanning for Yeti. I have her permission, that's important. I have her permission, I'm scanning for her, I'm hydrated. There we go. Am I Michael? Am I Yeti Smith? Am I Yeti D? Oh, yeah. So, you know, my subconscious mind was talking about I had this habit and custom and addiction and, and um, uh, th this habit that I do and I save money and I keep feeling like I'm going to run out of money and I don't want to spend it and I keep it as long as I can. What is the severity that I don't want to spend it and I hold on to it with a negative charge attached? Is it one, two, three? Is it over one? Yes. Is it over two, over three, over four, over five, over six, over seven, over eight? No, is it under eight? No, it's eight. So the severity of this problem that I have money and I have this negative charge, it's okay to save the money, but it's the charge, right? That's what we do. So I'm trying to find what is this negative charge that has me in the habit of uh, uh, money's going to run out, so I got to save it. How many emotions are causing this behavior and this thought and this condition, habit and um, addiction that I do this? Is it five, four, three? Is it over five? 
No, it's under five. Yes. Is it under four? Yes. Is it under three? Is it under two? Is it under one? Over one, one. And is it my emotion? Yes. Okay, so I gotta find it. I've got a chart of six. Do you remember what I do? Yeah, is it this one, this one? I'm gonna do that fast. Is it yes? Okay, it is the emotion of blaming. Mm. Blaming. So is this my emotion? How old was I when I heard something or experienced something where there was blaming? Was I one, two, three, four, five? One, two, three, four. I was five years old. So I was five years old. I was a little girl. I had an experience where um, I might have got blamed for something. I got that emotion. I didn't process it. That means I didn't get ticked off or angry or told anybody. I held out this blaming. And now this blaming is holding me to have the position that it's not okay to spend the money and I want to get rid of it. Okay. Is there any other emotions causing this? Before today's session, what was the severity of this? Um, I feel like I want to run out of money and that anxiety or those feelings around there. Before today, was it five, six, seven, seven? And now it's 10, nine, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay. So I'm just going to disconnect. Now you notice I got the severity before, severity after. I'm disconnected now. So uh, Yeti will hang in with us for a little bit. And Yeti, go to that place where you, you know how much money you have in your bank account today. What would that be like for you to, to say, you know what, I want to buy that thing that I've been looking Just kind of play with the idea of spending some money and give us an update in the chat, and then we'll see what uh, what might be different for you. So uh, I'd love to do that. I'd love to hear an update from you. Okay, John. Uh, yeah, lots of more people uh, joining in live here. Um, we'll just read through some more comments here. Karen is saying, oh, we've already read Karen's comments there. Yeah, yeah. Carolyn. Saying hello from Oshawa, Ontario. Oh, the contest queen's in the house. Hey, Carolyn. Yeah. Um, Norma Zambesco is here. Yay for Yeti. Hey, Norma. Thanks for joining us. Uh, DTS is here. I never believe I will earn more. I feel I don't deserve it. Okay. That's, that's, that's a good one to work on. Yeah. Uh, Carolyn is saying, I was watching Yellowstone and the subconscious belief that only mean people are rich. I was watching, I watched the, first two episodes or seasons of that as well, Carolyn. So yeah, that, uh, I know what you mean. Yeah. That would want to stop you from getting rich, wouldn't it? Our friend Premier Prem. Good morning, bros. Happy to be watching from cloudy Parksville. I love it. Emotion hunters. How about the trapped emotion hunters? Hey, listen, we'll take any title you give us. Thank you. Uh, Carolyn's saying, I'm uh, focusing on finding kind, wealthy people as examples to smash that incorrect belief. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I'm going to tell you a quick little story. You know, I was delivered my law of attraction seminars in, in Victoria, particularly, and uh, hundreds of them. I would do a presentation with three people. It didn't matter. I would go everywhere. And then I remember talking about the Oprah and, and being, you know, seen by Oprah, known by Oprah. And I had a belief. And you know what my belief was? And I remember being at a large seminar, like 300 people there. And I was sharing my belief. And my belief was, is that Canadians don't get to get on Oprah. Hmm. Well, that shut me up. <laughs> somebody, somebody raised their hands. So what about this person? What about this person? What if, and, and we got like, we're, we're up to like 20 and you know, really there's not as many Canadians, but the list was huge. And boy, talk about eat crow. You know what I had to eat? I had to eat. I had to eat my belief about that. Uh -huh. But no, I can't even hold it. So what Caroline's saying right here is that when I find the proof that it existed for me, it's hard to say it's a belief anymore. It's like, well, that was a list of 25 people that Oprah paid attention to. Q2009, I was interviewed by her four times. That's a total of two hours. I was the most interviewed guest on her Soul Series. Quickly after that, I was asked to host my own show on the radio network, that the Oprah Radio Network, for a year. Yeah, the Soul so, Series, right? Yeah. She does pay attention to Canadians, and I got a big list. So Yeah. <laughs> yeah, great story. Uh, yeah, John, great tell story. me what uh, caught your attention today. Who to work on? Uh, scrolling up, scrolling up. Karen, uh, feel like don't deserve to have more money when so many have less than I. Okay, right. So just the idea, if you have more money, you can give it to others. 
help others. So I'm just going to connect up to Karen here. So I'm using my hands to muscle test. They're just down in my lap. So tune in, connect up Karen, act as a proxy, Karen. So I do have a good connection, Karen. Yeah, ready for a session here. Yeah. Okay, we're going to test out this belief. Don't deserve to have more money when so many have less than I do. So don't deserve to have money when there's lots of scarcity out there. A lot of Yeah, so what's the severity of this this lack of deserving to have more money when others have less? What's the severity of this lack of deserving? It's at least a five. It's an eight out of a ten. So it, it's quite high, right? This, this lack of deserving. Yeah. Yeah. So is there a trapped emotion we can identify and clear so that I can I do deserve to have more money and I can help others as well? Yeah. Okay, so is there a trapped emotion in A or B? So is it A odd or even? Okay, it's A1, three or five. So it is A1, the first one, second one. So I'm just finding a muscle testing through the chart. We're in A1 here, first one, second one. No, third one, no, fourth one, yes, fifth one. No, so it's lost. Okay, do we need to know more about this lost? No, feeling lost um, without direction. Clear it now. At least, at least. Okay, that's cleared. Good. So, is there another trapped emotion we can identify and clear? Yeah, to reduce and eliminate this this lack of deserving to have more money. Yeah, call me. So, be odd, even. So, it's B five. Is it the first one? Yeah. Second one? No. So, it is conflict. Yeah. So, conflict. There's a couple different types of conflicts. I'll just release that conflict. Uh, this one is like the inner conflict so conflict with yourself and the idea that you know you can have you know money and help others kind of a thing or you know you have money and others don't right that's an inner conflict yeah. I'd, I'd be curious to know when that happened so we can make a point about beliefs when you're done yeah absolutely yeah so uh 11 or older no Seven years old, so around six, seven, eight, somewhere in there. Yeah, make sure that's cleared. Conflict. The other conflict is obviously with, with someone else, so like a butting of heads kind of a thing. Yeah. So it, now it's so we cleared two emotions: uh, lost in conflict. So severity of this this lack of uh, deserving to have more money. Uh, is it still an eight? No. Three, two, one. So it's a one. So that's making good uh progress here so another trapped emotion we can identify and clear here yeah okay two uh so it's b2 helpless you need to know more about that no is that 11 or older no so young age so 10 or younger so clear helpless clear clear release 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 okay that's release yeah okay so still a good connection yeah good Keep going on this, one or higher. No, so it cleared three emotions. It is a zero. Um, fairly quick little demo there, but uh, we'll leave it there. That's, you know, a nice little layer to clear out right now. Yeah. You know, some things, you know, for example, Johnny, when you and I work on somebody's physical pain, it is really high, pro high possibility and probability that they feel relief right away. They can say, oh, you know what? The pain is gone, or I can do this. Yeah, yeah, the shoulder. Oh, yeah. But the things we're working on today were all dependent on the vibration that the person was sending. So, as of today, our two subjects, our two clients, as of today, they're sending a new vibration. So they're going to be they're going to be noticing and watching things come to them and unfold that are in alignment to their new money vibration. So it was like, oh, I feel different. They could feel different when they think about it. But the real, the real test is what are they attracting now that they have a new vibration that doesn't include those old beliefs? It's called the law of attraction. That's the law. The law says it'll match your vibration. If it was matching your vibration when you were holding that negative vibration of not being worthy, it must be matching the vibration that you're holding when you don't have that vibration. So again, our friends today, Watch out for what we worked on, and we'll help you with that. 
Uh, so uh, again, the purpose of the show is to show you things that you might not ever knew that could be helped with the motion code. If you've read the book, there's a list. Honestly, you could double, you could double, triple click on that list and expand it to many items. So our goal is to kind of expose and show you what we can help you with. We'd love to be your motion code practitioner. Uh, John, is, I'm going to show John is at Alive and Pure. His um, uh, site is going to pop up on the right. So John, for people that haven't booked a session with you or I before, um, what do they need to do to get in front of a screen to meet with us? Uh, what are the high, what, what, what's the high level steps that need to happen? Go ahead. Right, it's super easy. Go to our website. So Michael's at michaelose.com or removetrappedemotions.com. I'm at aliveandpeer.com. And we have online scheduling. So you go in there, uh, you know, click your session or package. We both offer multiple session packages. That's where we recommend to start. And uh, then set your time zone, your, set your day, time zone, and book your session easy as that. Links up to payment like PayPal, super secure payment. And we send you a link so we can have it over video like this, just like on Zoom. Or if you're not into that, uh, we do it over the phone or even email sessions. You send us a list and, you know, of your kids or just someone that if you're too busy, can't get to can't get to like the, uh, the video or phone or there's a time zone difference. Uh, just send us a list. We'll work on you and uh, just email you back when it's when it's done. Yeah, well, you, you could just buy the like a, a big package and we can work on all your family members without them knowing about it, providing they're their children and you think okay, I've got four kids, let's work on the kids. They don't have to be sitting on your lap for us to do that. So you can go sit in your car. John, do you have a lot of clients that sit in their car for an appointment? It's the only quiet place they can find, yeah. Uh... I think I, I, I think I should go to work in my car. Last week, everybody was, they weren't driving, they were just in their car. Yeah. Okay. Here's what I'd like to do. We've got about three or four minutes. I'd like to hear from as many people as possible, practitioners for the public. Tell us something that you learned, maybe today or in the past show. So what's something that you learned or were influenced by, or what's something that's making sense to you? What are we saying that is resonating with you? Leave a couple comments, we'll read them. But first, uh, we have a question from Sandra. Uh, since both of you are emotion code and body code practitioners, I'm not, John is. Can you clear your own emotion body issues or do you have to have another practitioner to do this for you? Uh, I'll give my answer then. You know, I, I do a daily emotion code session on myself every day. And it's usually around creative insecurity. I, I always say, okay, just to, I'm working on a project, delete this creative insecurity. And then sometimes I'll do a little hip alignment. And when I can't get it and I'm pretty stubborn, I'll ask John. Right, just you know, hey, can you work on this thing? And and he'll he'll have asked a question differently than I would have. So the answer is yes and no. You know, I we can work on ourselves, but some people find it's easier to get outside support. John, how do you feel about that? What's your experience? Yeah, same same answer. Yeah, I, I can work on myself. Less when I first got into this, you know, the first like two three years, I I worked on myself. You know all the time, you know, week in, week out, clear stuff. And then I found I couldn't like get as, you know, great results or I, I just like be muscle testing in the body code and I'd just hit these dead ends and I couldn't get the answers. Yeah. So then, you know, I'd reach out to other practitioners and they'd be able to get in and, and do the work and do the clearing. So, you know, my thinking was like, you know, at the beginning, you know, you could clear all, lean you know, all the surface stuff, but as you kind of get deeper and deeper and deeper, you need someone else to go in unbiased to clear it out. So, you know, I, you know, hired other practitioners in the past to get Michael to work on me, other practitioners, um, and like a lot, right? Like I, I do get a lot of sessions, so yeah, uh, I have to keep myself clear. Last week, she was having challenges trying to help her son, and mm -hmm. she couldn't get it. She couldn't get it, so. She heard me do it and she lunch, you know what? She wasn't asking for absorbed emotions. Now she, you know, she had her list and she was diligent and and I and she said, What did you just say? And I said, Well, I'm looking for absorbed emotions. And you know what? Everything that was the problem, there was no trap, there was like all the traditional stuff. Why? She cleared it up. And I thought, where am I gonna go with this? And as soon as I asked for absorbed, it went boom. Hmm. And we cleared them, and uh, that was a big learning for her. So, again, as talented as she was and educated, sometimes it's just one word can make the complete difference between your success. So, 
Shout out to her. Thanks, Sandra, for the question. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, ZEH from YouTube saying hello. Our friend Norma loves our style and releasing heart wall way faster. I want to say it's 100 times faster, but you never know about that. Okay, we're getting a couple more comments and then we're wrapping up for today. And John and I have been texting some ideas for next uh, the next four or five shows. We're going to take a different, a little approach on uh, some other things we might be experiencing. So stay tuned. And if you really want to know what's going on well before, so you can plan to be with us, be sure to sign up for that right there. MichaelLoche.com forward slash emotion code grows. Okay, there's some more here, John, if you want to read these comments people are coming in with. Yeah, Carolyn's saying, OMG, yes, one word can make all the difference. That's right. yes. Yeah. And Sharon DeRose, as a practitioner, I like to have another practitioner work on me. I'm too close to myself. Yeah. You agree, Sharon? Yep. You know, on, uh, well, I'm going to talk about my business growth club. I'm mentoring lots of practitioners. They're joining me Tuesdays in my meeting. And I'm working with each practitioner like eight to 10 minutes or seven to eight minutes or whatever they're working on. And I'm giving them emotion code sessions. Mm -hmm. It's a creative insecurity or something like that to help them move forward. So, um, and I'm teaching them to do that. I'm teaching them, you're about to sit at your desk and work on a project, swipe, delete this creative insecurity about this project. You know, don't wait for me to do it or don't hire someone to do it when you know it should be part of the, you know, your daily routine. Okay, ZEH, I've been trying to work on my money blocks but have no successful. Uh, did you get to hear what the approach we're doing today? Uh, we're talking about the beliefs around yeah. that, and the beliefs. And, uh, so. You might be too close. Yeah. Um, so it's, worth, it's definitely worthwhile to hire a practitioner and uh, get some help with that. You know, money blocks, it, it goes back to early, early childhood, early ages, yeah. you know, because you have no money when you're a kid, when you're a six year old. You, and no real like um you don't know what it is right like you just get shoes and clothes from your parents and maybe you want this want that and they're like no we don't have money right and then just oh, like you're yeah. that week in week out yeah, yeah. If you're a practitioner you knew hire john or i you would get to hear our approach and the way we ask questions we're well seasoned we're well experienced and we know how to ask the perfect right questions so we get the results so we can Get out Big Bertha, the magnet, and delete it for you. Uh, listen, for those of you that are interested in Law of Attraction, the top of the hour, that's in the next 28 minutes, I'm doing a presentation on allowing and the Law of Attraction. It's a quick presentation, but I promise you it will help reset your mind in addition to what you learned today about what else you can do so you can open up your vibrational bubble and allow more money in it. John, let's say goodbye to our friends today. Thanks for hanging out with us, everybody. Yeah. Uh, thanks for joining us today, everyone. Have a great weekend and great week ahead. See you next week. Yeah. We'll look for your comments in the chat after the live show. Uh, and uh, if you're watching the replay, replay, go ahead and make some chat. See you later.